But as we age, our testosterone decreases uh, more than potentially muscle mass, our libido, our vibrancy, our potential mental acuity as we age. And the loss of muscle mass, especially for men over 60 or 70, logically, it would appear if our free and other measurements of testosterone are decreasing as we get older, shouldn't we take testosterone supplementation? But I know that you're a little bit of maybe not. Well, the, the reason is that there have been a lot of studies on testosterone and health in old age. Um, and there, there isn't any evidence that your longevity will be increased by testosterone. Now, what will happen is you'll, uh, for men, uh, you'll get more muscles if you work out with testosterone, you'll slow down your loss of muscle mass, which is you know, a percent or two per year as you get older. I'm 50 now, so I, I know how that feels. Um, the reason that I'm not a big fan of long-term testosterone supplementation um, is partly because it hasn't been shown to extend lifespan, but more importantly, testosterone is a signal to the body that times are good, times are, uh, it's time to grow instead of hunker down and survive. And I do worry that if we artificially boost the levels of testosterone, then it's going to counteract those longevity mechanisms. But I'm not completely down on it. You know, I think it's, it's not going to hurt if you take testosterone and build up your muscle. That's all good. I mean, if you fall over when you're 90, that's, you're basically done for. And if you have muscles and you've exercised and stretched, then that can save your life. So testosterone has its place. But what I like to do is, and what, what's working for me tremendously, um, is working out, going to the gym, lifting very heavy weights, using the big muscles in my body, my hips, my legs, and my testosterone has doubled over the last few months because of it. And that's naturally produced testosterone. How do you feel about HGH? Um, I don't feel strongly either way. Again, it's short-term benefits. You can see those. Long-term, I don't think that's going to be the way to go. Again, because the growth hormone is telling the body that you're getting a lot of nutrients, time to grow. Whereas we know that true longevity in old age is the opposite signal.